This is a quick intro to my video with an opening of my new brush. So this is the place. Harry Alley's from London. Nice box. Sturdy. I've got a cat, just in case you think it's not self-harm. Let's have a look here. What have we got here? Leaflet. Brush maintenance. Mm, interesting. Okay, that over there. We've got the brush itself. Let's put that there. Mm, a metal stand for the brush. Excellent. Cool. Mm. Oh, yeah, protection money. So I have a brush. Excuse me for my. Ta da! There you go. Harry Alley brush. Feels nice and sturdy. No kind of markings apart from just the front. Harry Alley of London. Yeah, enjoy the video, guys. Welcome to Mr. Shaves. So today we're going to be shaving with some more stuff. And um, today, if you watched last week's, you'll notice that I've got this Allen Block. So today we're going to be shaving with the Cream True Fit. Hang on, let's just get it. True Fit and Hill Absolute Shaving Cream. We're going to be using. Cedar and Sage Conditioning Beard Oil. We're going to be using good old Florida water, which I think has got a really interesting smell. And uh, afterwards, I'm going to have a go at a moisturizer, a manly one called from L'Oreal Barber Club Beard and Face Moisturizer. And for the blade, there's a company in the UK called Harry Alley, and this is their blurb. They say it's in London, family business since 2000. We are turning shaving into a luxurious experience. We believe bringing quality to people everywhere, striving to make high quality, affordable products, and bring the grooming ritual to modern gentlemen. This is the new razor. It's a three piece, but look, look at that. It's got a blade in, it's got a feather blade. Has it got a blade? Yes, it has. Yeah, it's a feather blade, it's three piece. So it's got the main stalk, it's got the top, and it's got that bit there, this bit here. And it feels, it's quite a heavy razor. I've used it once, uh, I, Found it to be rather, rather nice. Also, from the same company who are branching out in the UK, I've recently purchased a Harry Alley um, brush, Badger Hair, a silver tip brush, roughly around £30, and I've just soaked it into the dripping. This is another Harry Alley. They do various different kind of price ranges. For badger and synthetics, but I thought I'd give their badger silver tip a go. It's not been used. Had a bit of a soak. So yeah, there you go. And also at the end, we're going to be using as a, as a cologne for the day, Ted Baker. This one, and I'll describe that as we go. So here we go. First of all, I've wet my face a bit beforehand because. I wanted to um, just get started. I'm going to put the oil on. This is cedar and sage. Oops. And it is cedar and sage, that's what you can smell. But it's a subtle smell. I've been shaved for a few days, so got a bit of growth. And I don't want any 
pulling the hairs out. Ah, oh, that's good. Right, let's have a go with this badger brush. Just empty out the water. Truthfully in Hill, absolutely shaving cream. I don't know how you would describe it. It's kind of like um, a barber shop, but there's sweeter tones like lemon and a bit of lavender, I think. But it's a shaving cream. And um, it looks really nice. Truth in Hill tend to be quite pricey. All their stuff's top notch. Top notch stuff. And I do like this one because it's not just the smell, but it's also the, the kind of feel and how smooth your skin feels post shave. You don't want it all dried out. Right, let's lather it up. Okay. So, there we go. This brush is quite heavy. You, I noticed how heavy it is. If you soak it before you use it, which you're meant to, the first thing you feel is um, it's heavier because the badger hair absorbs the water and you can feel the difference. Also on this one, this Harry Ali brush, it's got a metal uh, base, which feels really sturdy and has a kind of comfortable weight. It's not like really light at all. It's lathering up quite a lot there. So, look at that. So far, it's, I'm impressed. So we're going to whack it on the face. One of the strengths of having a badger brush, I've been told, and I feel the difference, you, it, the, the, it absorbs the water, but also it, it's kind of, the brush is still more rigid, so it pushes the stuff, the soap, into your skin, into those hairs. And that is good for your skin, because that enables it to glide over your face easier. I'm just going to clear my... There you go. So now we're going to use the Harry Alley razor. Look at that. Kind of interesting kind of metal work there. Just kind of like dimpled. It's quite grippy. It doesn't feel slippy at all. Feather blade. Obviously, I've got this. If you watch the last one, Alan Block is something I ordered straight after that. I previously had those matchsticks type things. And after last week, I don't think that was enough. And you might be glad to hear that I survived. There you go. feels nice it's got a weight to it I like I don't like a light razor I like to have a bit of substance maybe that's why I don't like those you know other those cheap razors the use it once and throw it away ones these ones seem to have a weight to it which I think allows you to realise where you are on your face. <clears throat> it doesn't feel like an aggressive razor. It feels quite, I don't think it's moderate. No, there's a lot of hair and it's kind of pretty much got rid of it. This is a UK company, Harry Alley. Just tidying up the corners. I 
and they do a range of different kind of um, shapes and sizes and looks at brazier and brushes. I'm really impressed with that brush though. It's the first time I've used it and it really lathered. See if it gets under my nostrils. I would say the top area is pretty much the same as the fat boy. I mean, obviously it doesn't have that opening and closing mechanism stuff, but it's quite thick. Right, round one. Let's do round two. Brush is holding its moisture really well. I think after you've used it, it's important to rinse it out, get all the kind of soapy stuff out of you, out of it, and then to let it dry naturally. Otherwise, it will to, to maximise the use of it. So my wife this week has been looking in to my ancestry do you guys do that if you're bored my heritage my ancestry whatever it's called there's loads of kind of guidance and um, information so you can put your stuff together quite easily and find out where you come from and i've had some surprises Very interesting. And also, I think with that, I find myself interested in a bit of history. Because I think, I didn't really like history at school. I found it really boring. It didn't relate to anything that I was aware of or was interested in. But when you get your family involved, automatically you're interested. Like, like who do you think you are? Which is on BBC One in the UK, where they look the heritage ancestry of various celebrities. And it's always quite interesting because I remember, I can't remember who it was, but there was one celebrity who was really, really excited. He was caught up in it and he was hoping that he had like, really kind of like lords and ladies. He was really hopeful of that. Well, he didn't find that. <laughs> they found, first of all, they found one of his ancestors about 100 years ago was a murderer, um, which he wasn't, he, I think he was a little bit tearful at that point. But it gets worse because he, further up the generation, they didn't have any kind of money, they were all really poor, um, destitute kind of family. And then going up further, he was hoping, please let there be a lord, please. Well, there wasn't a lord, but there was someone who was in contact with the law, and that was another murderer. So he's got two murderers in his family. So he uh, usually, when people have had the my um, the experience of being on the show, they come out kind of like happy or invigorated in some way because they found out about their ancestry. This guy wasn't at all. In fact, it was very much the opposite. But it's still interesting. I found some, my wife's found. Links to the royal family. I suppose everyone is to a certain extent, but it's nice I have the evidence. I can see the family up the line. 
So, right, that's that's really good. That's a really close shave, and no kind of irritation. It's just sliding along. Last pass. And I'm loving the brush. It's just so. I don't even have to lather it again. Oh, I'm going to just to see how much I can get out of it. It's just really good. Feels sturdy for thirty quid, considering a silver tip brush. I thought when I was looking online, they were around fifty to seven to hundred and onwards. If you're really obviously, if you've got loads of money, go for it. But when you're trying it out, I think it's good to just see what you can get for the money. And that's a silver tip. Badger brush. So looking at the badger brush, that's the badger brush. Obviously you can't see it because it's covered in stuff. <clears throat> that's a bore brush. And I found this one, I would say this is a little bit thicker, a little bit harder, not as soft than this one. Um, the synthetic, which I've used, this is my favourite brush that I've used loads. This one's doesn't I would say it doesn't lather as swiftly as this one. That's my first experience, but and it's a bit softer on the top where this is kind of pushes the stuff into your skin a bit more. But oh, it's very it's not like a massive pardon me, massive, massive difference. It's just different. Alright, last pass, here we go. Just checking over. My hair goes along this way. Some people's goes different ways. It's important to know. But it gets through it. Feels nice. It feels sturdy. The gnarling on this handle, I would say, isn't the best grip. I'm, it's slippy. That's my only gripe. But other than that, that was a good shave. That was a really nice shave. Right, rinse off and let's use the other stuff. Ah, oh, that feeling post shave of a nice clean shaven face. It's relaxing. Yeah, that's done a good job. Yeah, I'm pleased. I'm really pleased. Right, so let's put on some Florida water, I'll just dry my face. Florida water. There you go. Florida water from Murray and Landman. For external use only, so no drinking. <laughs> Slippy hands. It's a very tricky. Split. They used to come in glass containers. I love a glass container for it. Oh, that's, that's such a, an abundant load of smells. Cinnamon, uh, lemon, cedar, possibly, all sorts. It doesn't actually, what's it say? Fragrances. Yeah, I've done that before, haven't I? So, that's really good for the skin. It conditions it. It's got a nice smell. Finally, Ted Baker, I found. And I thought it might go well 
with the explorer water it's kind of what's it called ted baker london skinware limited edition no information at all so that again that's got a, like, a load of different kind of smells i would suggest that um oh i forgot to put the moisturizer on oh well let's just do that as well do three squirts of this this is the london men expert this is a really nice moisturizer, post-shave moisturizer. It's got a really nice invigorating smell. Um, it's kind of like leathery, woodiness, sandalwood. And I didn't need this. Yay. So there you go. There's my shave. I would like you to consider a badger brush. Although looking into it, there's elements of where do they get the how do they get it and all that sort of stuff i need to look into that but overall i'm very happy i hope you've had a nice day don't forget to subscribe and like and join me on our shaving journey on ss mr shaves thank you very much goodbye